Okay, now let's talk about the need for blood. It is critical right now. Our community needs our help. CBS 8 is proud to partner with the San Diego Blood Bank for a special blood drive that's happening tomorrow. Joining us right now to give us a preview, we have Claudine Van Gonka from the San Diego Blood Bank. Good morning, Claudine. Good morning, Netta. So you are there where people are donating as we speak. So that's awesome uh, that we are seeing donors. But let's talk about the need. Why is it so important that as many people that can take part in this? Yeah, you know, every mobile drive and, and every donor is very important, but mobile drives right now are, are extra important. You know, throughout the pandemic, we have seen just, we've been on a roller coaster. We've had, you know, people cancel their blood drives and then reschedule, but then maybe cancel again. Um, some places are not doing blood drives anymore at all because their workers are remote. Um, and so every single blood drive that we can get on the books is more blood on the shelves and more lives saved. You know, and you do such good work with all of your um, staff that are there. We've donated a few times, any chance I can, and it's a really easy process. But of course, we want people who maybe have been hesitant to say, hey, it's okay, <laughs> let's try it now. So can you walk us through the process? I mean, even the people that we're looking at live right now, tell us what they go through to get, you know, their blood and uh, donating it all. How, how easy is it? Sure, it's very easy. So we, we encourage people to make an appointment to make it even easier, but walk-ins are welcome. Um, really the longest part is just filling out the paperwork. Once you get the paperwork done and you're in the chair, when you're donating whole blood, which is what people generally think of when they think of donating blood, you're about in the chair 10, 15 minutes at the most, then you're off to get your, your snacks and your juice and you're out the door. So probably less than an hour all in all. Less than an hour. Uh, I will say for me, um, after work, before I go pick up my toddler, this was almost like a nice hour to relax, time to yourself. I watched a movie in one of your uh, mobile blood banks, <laughs> so it was pretty convenient. Uh, and you know, they're wonderful people who work there, exactly. so it's nice to chat with them. Uh, and you know, you have, I'm sure, people that do this regularly, right? Obviously, they're critical, but we want people who haven't maybe done this to go ahead and do it, right? And we really encourage people who've never donated before to come in and donate. You're going to have just a great experience. And the more people we have to donate, the more lives we save. One blood donation can actually save up to three lives. So think of it that way. And what do you think it is that might keep people from donating? What are some of the misconceptions perhaps that you hear? Sure. I mean, some people are just scared, you know, so nobody likes a needle in their arm, but, you know, it's really very painless process. Um, some people also believe that you're not able to donate blood if you've had a recent piercing or a tattoo, but you can actually, as long as it's been done in a state regulated facility, you could come in the next day. And the other uh, myths are surrounding COVID-19. Um, so really it is if you have had COVID-19 or you think you may have been exposed, you are deferred for 10 days from the date of your last symptom. Otherwise, you are free to come in and donate. Ooh. Okay, so just 10 days after, not bad. Uh, let's talk about who does qualify, Claudine. For any viewers that are listening right now, wondering if they should show up, tell us what you look for. I mean, is there a certain age, weight limit, things like that? Yes, you need to be at least 17 years old or older, um, 114 pounds, and in general, good health. So if you have the sniffles or you know a little cough, just wait till you're feeling 100% before you come back in. See, that sounds very easy. A lot of people qualify for that. Claudine, that's great to hear. Uh, let's talk about tomorrow. Obviously, we want as many people as possible to come out to the drive. Give us all the details. Yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're just so thankful. San Diego Blood Bank is so thankful to CBS 8 for partnering with us at this drive at Grossmont Center. It is tomorrow, which is April 26th from 1 to 7, and it's at Grossmont Center by the Theater Marquee, so not inside the mall, but outside the mall where the marquee is, right across from Casa de Pico. Um, and all donors are going to get a Jersey Mike's free subcard, and they're also going to get this cool t-shirt. It's a limited edition t-shirt with a really cool design um, created by the San Diego Union Tribune's editorial cartoonist. Nice. Steve Green. Yeah. And as you can see, it's all little blood bags in the shape of a heart. So super cool. That's awesome. I love that. Steve Green is so talented yeah. to see his work on a t shirt. That's cool. And you said Jersey Mike subs, too? <laughs> Absolutely, Good a free stuff. Jersey Mike sub card and lots of fun. You know, CBS yeah. 8 is going to be out there with a lot of fun, so it's going to be a great day. We're so proud to be part of it, Claudine. We hope everyone shows out. Uh, you can go to cbs8.com community to sign up. Thanks for being on with us this morning.